All right, so maybe you're looking to create an app, but you're not a developer, and coding sounds way too intimidating. Or maybe you're just curious about how to bring an idea to life without having to learn all those complex programming languages. That's where Thunkable comes in. It's an awesome platform that lets you build mobile apps without any coding knowledge. You don't need to know how to code to create something that works. Thunkable makes it easy for anyone, whether you're an absolute beginner or someone who's built apps before, to get started. The first thing you need to do is head over to Thunkable's website and create an account. It's super simple. You can sign up using your Google account, Apple ID, or just your email. Pick the one that's easiest for you and just follow the prompts. It won't take long and soon enough, you'll be on your way to building your very first app. Once you've signed up and logged in, you'll be taken to your dashboard, which is like your app's home base. From here, you can start your projects, see your past work, and explore other templates if you need a bit of inspiration. Once you're in, take a quick look around your dashboard. You'll notice that it's pretty straightforward. You don't have to worry about complicated settings right off the bat. On the left, you'll see a few important tabs, and they'll help guide your workflow as you build. The My Projects tab is where all your apps live. This is where you'll find your ongoing projects, whether you're building something from scratch or tweaking a template you found in the gallery. Every time you start a new app, it'll pop up in this section. It's your home base where you can keep track of everything you're working on. You can easily open or edit your projects, and even delete or duplicate them if you need to start fresh. The public gallery is a really cool area where you can find pre-made templates. If you're feeling a little lost or just don't know where to begin, you can find all kinds of starting points here. These templates cover everything from to-do lists to more complex apps like fitness trackers or budgeting tools. They're designed to be easily customizable, so you can tailor them to fit your specific needs without starting from scratch. Don't know where to start on your project? Start building quickly with sample projects. In the sample projects section, you'll find a variety of pre-built apps designed to help you jumpstart your creation process. These sample projects cover a wide range of categories, like fitness, productivity, and social media, so you can easily find one that aligns with your idea. The My Data Sources section is where you'll manage any data your app needs, like user info, task lists, or progress tracking. It's all about keeping things organized so you can easily link your app's features to the data it needs to function. You'll set up and connect databases or external data sources here, ensuring that everything is integrated smoothly. This section is crucial for keeping your app's backend running smoothly and ensuring data consistency throughout your project. The structure here helps you maintain organization which is essential as your app grows more complex. Whether you're dealing with simple lists or large datasets, this section will keep you on track. Okay, so now that you're familiar with the layout, it's time to get into the fun stuff, actually building your app. Head over to the My Projects tab and click on the Start Building button. This is where the magic happens. When you click that, you'll be asked to name your app and choose a category for it. You could call it something like to-do list app or budget tracker depending on what you're going for. You can even get creative and give it a more unique name if you're thinking of something original. Once you've got your name and category picked, just click create and you'll be taken to the app editor where you'll bring your vision to life. The app editor is where you'll spend most of your time building your app. Don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. The interface is user-friendly, and you can make changes to your app in real time, so you'll always know exactly what it looks like as you go along. 
The editor is laid out so that you can focus on both the design and the functionality of your app. You can easily drag and drop elements, arrange them, and tweak their settings. With all the tools you need right at your fingertips, you can quickly get your app looking and functioning exactly how you want it. There are a variety of components to choose from in the editor, buttons, forms, images, charts, and more. As you add these elements to your app, you'll have the ability to configure their behavior. For example, if you add a button, you can set it to perform specific actions, like saving data, navigating between screens, or triggering a particular function. You'll also be able to adjust the look of each element, choosing from different colors, fonts, and layouts to match your style. As you go along, don't forget to frequently preview your app. This lets you see how the changes you make come together in real time, helping you identify areas that need fine-tuning. Plus, it's an essential step to ensure that everything works seamlessly, especially when it comes to interactions and user flows. The goal here is to build an app that not only looks great, but also provides a smooth, functional experience for your users. Not everyone wants to start from scratch, and that's totally okay. Thunkable has tons of templates that you can use to save time and get your app up and running faster. These templates cover all sorts of categories, productivity, social media, health, education, and more. There's something for nearly every kind of app you might want to build. Whether you're looking to create a fitness tracker, a budgeting tool, or a simple to-do list app, you'll find a template that fits your needs or inspires you. Once you find a template you like, just click on it, and you'll be able to copy it directly into your account. It's a simple process that gives you a solid foundation to build on. When you copy a template, it's like taking a base design and adding your own personal touch. You can customize everything, colors, text, images, layout, and functionality, anything you want to make it unique. For example, let's say you're building a task manager app. You might choose a task tracker template, then tweak the colors, add your own images, and change the buttons to fit your style. The beauty of using a template is that you don't have to start from scratch, but you still get the satisfaction of making it your own. You'll have the freedom to change the flow of the app, remove features you don't need, or add new ones to enhance the user experience. Plus, starting with a template can help you learn faster because you can study the design and functionality that's already built in. This is especially useful if you're new to app development, or if you're short on time but still want a polished result. By using templates, you can focus more on refining the app's specific features that matter most to you. You can fine-tune everything from user interactions to integrations with external services, without having to worry about creating everything from the ground up. It's an efficient way to build an app that looks great and works well, with plenty of room for personalization and creativity. Once you've chosen your template or decided to build from scratch, Let's talk about the Thunkable Editor. The editor is where you'll bring everything to life. It's got a clean, easy-to-use design that makes it feel like you're dragging and dropping elements onto a canvas to create your app. In the center of the editor is the main canvas, which is basically your workspace. This is where you'll see your app's layout and design come to life. You can drag and drop elements like buttons, images, text, and other components directly onto the canvas. As you build your app, everything will be displayed here in real time, so you can always see how it looks and feels as you work. There's a sidebar that lets you switch between different screens of your app. If you think of your app like a book, each screen is a page. You can have a home screen, a settings screen, a profile screen, and so on. The left sidebar lets you jump between these pages and work on them individually. 
On the right, there's another sidebar that comes into play when you want to customize the individual components of your app. For example, if you click on a button, the right sidebar will open up with options to change the button's color, size, text, and more. It's where all your specific adjustments will happen. The great thing about this is that you can make changes to just one component at a time without affecting everything else. It's a super flexible way to customize your app's design. Let's talk about customization, because this is where you really get to make the app your own. Once you're in the editor, you can start adjusting the text, colors, images, and buttons to fit your unique style and purpose. For example, if you're working on a task tracker app, you might want to change the text on the home screen to something more personalized like track your tasks instead of the default text. To do that, simply click on the text element, and the right sidebar will show you all the options for editing it. You can change the font to something more fitting, adjust the size, change the color, or even make it bold or italic. It's all done through a straightforward interface, so you don't need any coding experience to make your app look exactly how you envision it. Next, let's say you want to change an image on the home screen to better reflect your app's theme. Just click on the image, and the right sidebar will give you the option to upload a new image file from your device or use a URL to insert an image you found online. You can easily adjust the size, crop it, and change its alignment to suit your layout. Every change you make happens instantly, so you can see exactly how it affects your design in real time. The buttons in your app can also be customized to match your overall theme. Click on any button, and you'll be able to change the text, font, color, and even the button's behavior. Want the button to open a new screen when clicked? No problem! You can make it submit a form, trigger an action, or link to external pages. The best part is that all these options are easily accessible and don't require any programming knowledge. Customizing your app's visuals and functionality is all about ensuring that your app is not only visually appealing but also easy to use and aligned with your vision. It's about giving your users a smooth experience that feels intentional and consistent. You can take it even further by adding animations or transitions to make the interface more dynamic. Whether you're creating a minimalistic app or something more colorful and vibrant, these customization options give you the flexibility to craft an app that stands out and feels just right for your needs. So you've finished building your app. Awesome! Now it's time to test it and make sure everything works as expected. Thunkable lets you test your app in real time. You can either preview it on your desktop or use the Thunkable Live app on your mobile device to test it on an actual phone. This makes sure that everything looks good and functions well before you push it out to the public. Once you're happy with how it looks and works, it's time to publish your app. Thunkable gives you a few different options here. You can download an APK file for Android devices, publish it as a web app, or even publish it for iOS. For Android, you can create an APK that you can install directly on your phone or submit it to the Google Play Store. For iOS, there are some extra steps you'll need to take, like signing certificates and setting up provisioning profiles, but Thunkable guides you through the process. If you're more into web apps, you can publish it as a web app, which can be used in any browser.